you've just said, well, but the past doesn't exist anymore. It used to exist. How can that be? Also, we measure time. We can measure the length of this video, for example. I can measure how old I am. I can measure the length of time it takes me to do something. If I'm, let's say, performing a piece of music, I know how long the music takes, and I can measure the length of time of a beat. Well, all of those things seem to require that I can measure time. But how is that possible? Surely I can measure only what exists. But the past used to exist, doesn't exist anymore. I can't measure the past. The future doesn't exist yet, so I can't measure it. And well, then I guess I can measure only the present. But the present immediately goes into past. In fact, the present doesn't have extension at all. It is instantaneous. It's a point in time. But I don't know how to measure a point. A point has no extension. So how is it possible to measure time at all? So we have a puzzle. We've reached the conclusion that time does not exist. At least past and present don't exist. That time cannot be measured. And yet, we said God perceives all time simultaneously. So if God knows them, they must exist.